What's up, guys? We repping Minolta out here. <laughs> and it was cool because we were walking around and one guy was like, oh, Minolta's? I used to sell those in the 1980s. Multi RCRTs, 2s, and the X700 series. Like, no way, that's my second favorite camera. Yeah. Dang, and like, I guess I was, or both of us, we were so shook that he like, was like, hey, you know, these cameras that we meant to ask him to take a picture, but we didn't think about it until way after the fact, you know? Yeah. And we also got to see this uh, really cool Miguel. You'll see a picture of him uh, somewhere in the video. Miguel, he hooked us up with a really cool potato patty, patty dish. Hit him up, Oak City. Gang, gang. Sad. He tried too hard. <laughs> but yeah, also, unfortunately, it is always cloudy up here. And this is going to be Cosmo Photo. 100, my second try with the Olympus, my second try as well. Enough about you. All right, check out my YouTube channel. We out here shooting the Minolta Maximum 5000i. I got a um, roll of rolly black and white 100 film and this bad boy right here. So make sure you check out my channel, link down below. You better include in your video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and he gave us extra beef. I was gonna ask him. What's up guys and I know it's been a while but hope you guys enjoyed that video that was again shot with the Cosmo Photo 100 and I'm super stoked about this design he also has some really cool postcards for sale as well second time shooting of this and second time 
shooting with the Olympus stylus, the zoom, and then this film, still not quite sure why, but my photos, they were just so grainy. And the first time I shot it, and the second time, first time I sent out to a place, I shipped it out somewhere, and second time I sent it to a local lab, so that's two, to, two different places, and still that grain, it seemed like it was a little bit more than what it should have been for a 100 ISO film. I did notice on other people's photos, it wasn't that much uh, grain, so maybe just somehow it's me, but I'm not sure how. I shot it with an SLR, and then a compact camera my second time. <laughs> See if you go on the hashtag Cosmophoto on Instagram, you notice like a difference. And you always get it, whenever a new film gets out, it's always good to go into different hashtags and see what other people are trying out. Similar to this new P3800 T-Max. <laughs> I haven't quite shot this yet. And I'm, I know it's 3200 film, fast film, low light. And of course, I never shot this one, they actually had it. So I'm trying to save it for a special moment or something unique with those qualifications if you have anything you want me to try to shoot it in comment down below and let me know quite a few people already done a review on it but I'm still trying to wait for that right moment or that right event something that's low light but it hasn't quite sparked me yet but if you have anything suggestions comment down below other than that I still think this is a dope deal Cosmo film in this film also some people will have gotten on up and in somewhat here and there because this is already an existing emotion but some people are still feel some type of way because um, I don't have any rolls with me but if you take the roll out and someone already discovered this and people sharing it feel on the back um, it does say FOMO on it, so some people are thinking this is the emo emulsion of FOMO pan. I never shot with FOMO pan, so it'd be interesting if you have or if you notice any similarity to it. Yeah, like I said, this is my second roll, so I would say at least if you're trying out new film, it takes about three rolls to fully tell if you like it or not. Would I shoot this film again? I probably would. Even though it had like quite a bit of grain, I still think it was like not too much but a nice little touch had a nice little old school feel to it but also it was it seemed like it was a lot for 100 ISO at least when I shot it and other people that I saw on Instagram theirs came out okay but mine I don't know and then the darks and the shadows are like super dark which was a nice little feel it had a gave like a moody vibe to it especially in some of the portraits that I shot with just people around or like the weather which is really nice but also the highlights at least on the sunny conditions for 100 ISO film I don't know why but um, just seemed like it was blown out or at least just when I shot it again this could just be me compared to other people's work <laughs> but I would still definitely give it a go